we're going to talk about the electrical circuits. Circuits are the uh, systems which are used to move electrical energy around and by its name, the name of circuit, uh, the path of electrical energy follows a complete loop always in a circuit. It's useful to talk, talk a little bit about what are the parts of a basic circuit. We're going to be talking initially about so-called DC circuits, ones in which the current and the voltage are not changing in time. Uh, that's introducing a new word, so let's talk about what a current is. A current is the ch amount of charge per unit time crossing a certain point in a, in a circuit loop. The units of current are the ampere, which is the SI unit. Uh, it stands for one coulomb per one second, and it has an equivalent uh, value of 6.25 times 10 to the 18 electrons passing by a certain point in the circuit every second. The next concept that's important to introduce in a circuit is that of resistance. Resistance is an idea that certain elements in the circuit tend to resist the flow of current. So if you put them in the path of the electrons or the current, it tends to slow or stop altogether the current flow. A resistor is usually denoted by a capital letter R and a squiggly line like this in the path of a circuit. And there's a key relationship known as Ohm's law which uh, is somewhat of an idealization because nothing is a perfect resistor, but Ohm's law tells us roughly how a resistor behaves. A resistor resists current flow, and the current that it does let through is related to the amount of voltage drop across this point of the circuit. So if there's an initial voltage of V1 and a final voltage of V2 on the other side of the resistor, delta V, or V12, which is the difference in those two voltages, is going to be linearly related to the current that's allowed to flow through a constant proportionality known as the resistance. So the bigger the current, the more the voltage drop. The bigger the resistance, the more the voltage drop. The bigger the voltage drop, the more the current that you can push through. So you can think of the amount of voltage is like the amount of pressure, like when you blow on a water pipe. And that's going to be related to how much current you can push through. Resistance is measured in ohms, named after Mr. Ohm. The, the letter to denote the unit of ohms is a capital Greek, a letter omega, and it has an equivalent uh, unit, it's a combined unit uh, of one volt per one amp. The next element to talk about in a circuit is the battery. The battery is an idealization. It's a source of constant voltage in a circuit. It is the source that is pushing uh, that current through, and it, it does so by supplying a voltage for the rest of the current, the rest of the circuit to see. Another important concept is power loss. Although we have some energy in the form of the battery, and we are trying to push the current through, there's going to be inevitably loss of electrical energy into the form of heat, and that's kind of like friction when I have mechanical energy converted into heat by friction. That happens whenever there are resistors. The amount of power loss is related to uh, the current times the voltage, or if we think about what's happening uh, where there's a voltage drop, that's when there's a resistor, so that's I times R, and we can say power is I squared R, or equivalently because V equals uh, IR, or we can say I equals V over R, the power uh, loss in a, in a resistor is going to be equal to V squared over R. So these are the things that are basically happening in a circuit. I'm trying to shove current through. I'm doing so by means of a voltage in the circuit. There's a resistor that's causing resistance to that current, and the amount of voltage I need to push along in order to create that current is related by Ohm's law. All the while I'm doing this, there's going to be power loss, so a conversion of electrical energy into heat. You can think of a circuit as something like a, a, a water flow across a long path. Think of the voltage itself as like electrical potential energy, and then as you're thinking about this little racetrack here, think about gravitational potential energy and being similar to electrical potential energy. Electrical current is like water flow on my little path, or my little racetrack here. And the batteries are like bucket brigades that pump the water up in height, which means higher in potential energy, up to the top of the racetrack. Resistors are like drops in potential energy and transform that electrical energy into something else. The mechanical energy of the, the spinning uh, little disks here, really, in the case of electrical circuits, it's heat. But it's a loss of that potential energy from gravity.